Greetings. My name is Tamela Farron, and I welcome you this evening, this wonderful Saturday evening. And I will be doing a three card reading for you. Choose one, two, or three right now before I do anything. Pick one. And that will be your card this evening. This is the way the ball bounces, right? Okay. The first card is the standing stone. Isn't that lovely? I love these cards so much. So, so very, very much. Okay. Um, put that there. Now, the standing stone tells me that you have a story to tell. There is something within you that you want to give on to others. You've been putting it off and procrastinating for ages, like years, literally, almost a decade or more. You've actually had this in your head and you've been building on it and you've even written stuff down but you've never gone through with it. This, hmm, these are stories. This is a story you want to tell. I don't know if it's specifically about you. I'm thinking something more along the lines of somebody before you, somebody in your family maybe, somebody, somebody that you idolized. Perhaps it's, the grandmother or great-grandmother that taught you what you know. But these stories, this... The image that keeps coming to me is of a little girl or boy. I can't see the face, so I can't tell you what it is. Um, sitting next to an older woman and she is, it looks like they're out on a uh, back porch on the steps, sitting there, and there's a basket in her lap, and she is showing different things to you. These are things that you were taught. It's, it's not just lessons learned, but there's magic, and there's memories and there's emotion you miss her this these stories need to be told i feel like i'm telling my own story right now because i too had a grandmother that taught me but this lady, very small and demure, very tiny, very fragile, if you will, but full of feist. Oh my gosh, she's so spunky. And these are stories that you've been wanting to do. And she's coming through saying, do it. Share it. You need to. This is something that your energy needs to give, needs to remember. And throughout writing it, you will remember this. You will, you will be able to focus in on the the past, like when it actually happened. Things that you've forgotten will start coming back to you. But 
the standing still and not doing what you need to do, that's going to hinder you from your spiritual path. It's already taken on a grieving process of its own because when you think about it, you get sad. What you need to start doing is thinking about how much and how important these stories are to you and your family. This is something that you need to build on so that you can not only continue the wisdom, but you can revel in it. You can, you can literally grow spiritually on your own through it. So give yourself the chance. Make the memory more than a stone. Even though these are, are stones of great wisdom and, and great markers of history and markers of magic, bring it to life. Give it something that will continue the process down the road. And that's number one, the standing stone. Okay, number two. Did you pick number two? Because if you did, this is yours. This one is nature. Isn't that lovely? But in the background, Your family means everything to you. Your connection to nature, to anything that is impeccably to do with the woods and animals and birds and anything you do without in nature brings you closer to your family. In other words, everyday life separates and causes anxiety and stress and issues that you are having so much stress over. And then you go the flip side and you go out and you go for a hike or a walk in the woods or fishing or taking pictures, going for a walk on the beach. Anything you do with nature as a family, you gather and it brings you all close and back together. And this is what you need to do. You need to go out in nature. There's been too much going on, too much with work, too much with the school. And I even feel um, a summer school or night class, um, too much with friends and, and I wanna even say partying. And I don't think it's you um, but this is just, it's all exploding and all the anxiety is stressing you out. It's giving you so much that you're, you're pulling away from and you're, you're losing all your connections. What you need is to plan a picnic or a walk in the woods or something and say, okay, we're all doing this and it will ground you. It will center you. It will focus in on what's important and it will bring your family back together. 
and you should start doing this maybe once every two weeks just getting away just okay that saturday that sunday that's our days nobody's allowed to make us work overtime nobody's allowed to you know intervene there will be nobody else coming just the family and make it really work for you because you're a protector you're a guidance for your family you draw them in and you allow the peace and love to grow this is important to you being a part of nature even if you do rituals out in the woods if you do you have the ability to gather herbs together if you have the ability to you know even go looking for feathers along the beach anything shells anything this is stuff that your family will thrive on i mean even if you get a bunch of corn ask them have a barbecue with the corn and whatever else you would like and as a family make corn husk dolls for lunasa this will bring your family closer together you could do this on the back patio and have a bonfire and enjoy things it all brings you connected back not only to the earth mother the woodland father it connects you with one another and it builds on the strength and the energy that you hold nature this is number two so many things in so many ways i mean a lot of people just don't grasp it Ooh, lovely card the moon okay there's something new in your life that's starting up and it's going to be about hmm the next full moon is going to start it so we're looking in august around the 10th um i see that you you've had plans to start i don't know if it's a side business or to amplify your business even more than what you have um there's also a new love interest and you've you've taken to this person you've been friends for a while you've taken to this person and now you think maybe there's a chance take it slow enjoy yourselves with the friendship that you have build only on the small steps and the same with your business take your business and work through what you need to do Focus in on everything that matters to you. Make priority lists and step by step by step work it through. All this that's happening, this new stuff that's happening, is a refreshing beginning for you. Allow it to flow. You have you haven't had a relationship in a very very long time so this is all new to you you've been on your own for like maybe two to three years try I think that a lot of people on this 
you're going to be with somebody that's going to understand you that's going to focus in on who you are and support you for what you do and that's a first for you you've had a few bad relationships in the past nothing that's lasted very long so this is all new for you build on it and like I said look forward to a lot of changes and good ones but you have to do it one step at a time and keep moving forward it's going to blossom your business is going to blossom I don't know if it's an existing one that's or one that that used to be one that you've wanted for so long that you're just finally doing it but it will progress and it will bring you in not an abundance to the point where you're a millionaire but it will bring in money that you can support yourself on and that will be a big plus number three the moon i want to thank you for coming i want to thank you for being a part of tonight enjoying everything and i hope that you get a good night's sleep rest well blessings unto all my brothers and sisters and thank you for supporting me by clicking like and subscribing blessed be it.